who lives in the pineapple under the sea spongebob square we're gonna be talking about more than spongebob in this video we have some lit news boy obi-wan legs yes right what's up all right started with this video you already know give it a thumbs up little thumb man it's good to see you boy like right now all right we have so much dope news for this video the first one it's not looking too good for the playstation 5 they are running into some launch problems and we get our first glimpse from a reliable source of what the PlayStation 5 more than likely the price of the PlayStation 5 what it'll more likely be. So first is I right, this is coming from this is an article from Forbes the information is coming through Bloomberg but a new report from Bloomberg is talking about the PlayStation console console launch and its price point. They're saying the news about Sony's upcoming console and the launch will look a lot different from the PlayStation 4 launch. All right. First, they're saying that the company's promotional plans have been thrown for a loop due to social distancing and the coronavirus. I have to say this though, bro. Microsoft has been on it as far as their promotion for this Xbox One X, bro. They got me making hats and everything. Links in the description. So, they're saying the coronavirus is throwing off their um, plans. The company recently revealed its DualSense controller out of nowhere and is now focused. Um, and will now reorient towards revealing the console. They're going to re be revealing the console without a traditional press conference. Come on, bro. That's right, bro. They got to do it digitally because of the coronavirus. All right. They're also saying that the coronavirus will impact software. Right, we're going to get into some juicy details now. All right. They're saying the PlayStation 5 is going to launch. We have some dope news. We got some Nintendo Switch gaming news too. Some surprising games are coming to the Switch, bro. A couple of announcements. But with the PlayStation 5, <coughs> they're going to have a limited quantity. They're going to be launching with a limited stock fewer than the PlayStation 4. And also, they're saying that Sony is worried that a high price tag might turn some customers consumers off they're saying for the first year of the playstation 5 for the entire first year they're planning on producing five to six million units for the first fiscal year ending march 21st compare that to the playstation 4 which sold seven and a half million units within the first two quarters within six months the playstation 4 outsold what Sony is not even producing for the entire first year. They're saying, and that I've heard this before, <laughs> that the company is reportedly struggling to keep the price of the console down. All right. They're saying that developers are expecting, based on what they have in their hands and have seen, <coughs> that the price will be somewhere between 500 and 550 dollars which will be more on the expensive end all right components are expensive and limited production in chinese factories have hurt on um, their price point a high price console could be even trickier proposition if we launch 
in a major worldwide recession where people are going to be limited on how they're going to be spending their money. And so, it looks like, so bro, Sony's had a rough year, bro. I mean, PlayStation 4 is still keeping them strong. But PlayStation 5, um, I'm sure Sony isn't. This isn't how they wanted everything <laughs> to work out. Um, and so, limited quantity the first year and... Um, the price point somewhere between 500 to as much as $550. Y'all remember the $600 PlayStation 3? I don't think Sony wants to go back that route, bro. And so, um, it's going to be interesting, interesting, interesting um, to see what they're going to be doing to counter Microsoft. And it's also being reported Sony would delay the launch of the PlayStation 5 if... Microsoft delays the launch of the Xbox Series X. And so, <laughs> it seems like Sony is hoping Microsoft delays the launch of the Xbox Series X. Because it doesn't seem like Sony is ready for a holiday launch. But will be forced to launch if Microsoft launches. And Philly Boy, that's what, that's what I call Phil Spencer. Philly Boy has said they're launching, bro. Philly Boy ain't playing around. They are launching the Xbox Series X holiday and they say they don't see any foreseeable problems with their launch we have some more news item this is the game that probably most people want to play gta 6 yeah i didn't know i was bilingual but new information has been found about gta 6 this is coming from gamesradar.com it's been confirmed the game has begun development and it's in the early, early stages of development, which means this is definitely going to be a next gen game, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, and something interesting about the, the report um, plans for launching the game. This is coming through Kotaku that the game may launch in stages in smaller whatever they're i don't know what they're trying to say but in smaller stages so it may not just be a huge big game launch in smaller chunks and this report is saying it may wind up being more of a live service title like gta online and so the next gta may not be a gta in your traditional sense all right. It knows that Rockstar Management has outlined a plan for the next GTA, and they never refer to it as GTA 6, just as a new entry in the Grand Theft Auto series. All right, even though they um, refer to it as GTA 6, it's going to be a moderately sized, that moderately sized is in quotation marks, game at launch and will be expanded through regular updates so they're going to start small they might start in episodic like missions and then add content as the game expands bro this may cut down on the time from launch um in between and they may be able to get gta games out more frequently or not more frequently i think this is going to be the only gta for this generation but It'll increase the replayability as, um, as fans will be anticipating what's going to be next. And so, interesting, interesting, interesting information for GTA 6. Bra. some major gaming news has dropped in the past 24 hours. Crisis Remastered has been officially announced for everything. It's coming to... PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and the Nintendo Switch. Oh, I might have been too hard on the Switch in my last video. I'm still not getting third-party games on the Switch. But for dudes who like the handheld experience, I'm telling y'all, <laughs> the Switch is a handheld. For dudes who like the handheld experience, having Crisis on the go would be cool would i recommend it if you could get it on the playstation 4 pc or xbox one 
to get the Switch version if you're primarily going to play it docked? No! It's going to run at a lower frame and lower resolution. That's just facts. I'm not hating. It's just reality. Face it, Nintendo fans. This is reality. But um, it's dope that this game is coming to the Switch. It's going to be remastered. Uh, more features launching on all, all, all platforms this summer, boy. This summer. All right, so that's cool. The next news item coming to the Nintendo Switch. That's right. Jump Force. This is coming courtesy of reliable leaker Nibbo on Twitter. Discovered that Jump Force Deluxe Edition. It's going to be a deluxe edition. Will be coming to the Switch. This game had mix at a mixed reception. I thought it was cool. I got it on my Xbox One. It's also on Game Pass for free. On, on the Xbox One, but Jump Force, a good addition to the Switch library, and another Switch game. I kid you not. <coughs> World War Z is also coming to the Nintendo Switch. This game is already out on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and Saber Interactive has confirmed to be working on the game, and this is what they said about the port to the Switch. Keep in mind that we are rendering scenes with hundreds of enemies and four players online. Getting this to run on the Switch is the hardest thing we've had to do. This is true even though we are porting our own Swarm engine over to the platform. So, they're saying that this is the most challenging game they've had to port over to the Switch. And, bro, there's some scenes I see in this game where you have zombies coming from everywhere. Four player online. And so, um, Switch getting another title, which is cool. But forget a, forget a um, crisis, forget a jump force, forget a World War Z. This is the game the people want. My headphones knew I was lying. My earphones fell off. But <laughs> SpongeBob, <laughs> SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated has been announced. A launch date for Xbox, PlayStation. And the Nintendo Switch, boy. When can you get your hands on this SpongeBob greatness? June 23rd. June 23rd, SpongeBob coming out. And my last news item. I got to update y'all with what's going on in the gaming world. The hottest and greatest news. Bro, it looks like I got this is the trailer for the Xbox Series X. But the Xbox One X, the, the last iteration of the Xbox One consoles it looks like microsoft is clearing out xbox one x's preparing for the launch of the xbox series x you can get an xbox one x right now for 299 which is a great deal for a six teraflop console xbox one x is almost the same power as the playstation 5 think about that for a second um that's all the news items for this video bro and they need to clear out the Xbox One X because I can see how the names are going to be confusing. Xbox One X, Xbox Series X. They want to get the Xbox One X far away from gamers' memory. All right, dude, that's everything we t to talk about in this video. What do you guys think about it, man? Sign off in the comment section below, man. I want to know. But before you go, bro, I said bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming. Bro, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.